Greetings everyone from the Rose Castle Foundation. We hope you are safe and uh, indoors, not too frustrated. Uh, we've noticed here that the land is not in lockdown. In fact, quite the opposite. The land has blossom uh, coming out on all the trees, new buds. We've got little lambs just outside the window here springing about. Uh, of course, for farmers in this part of the world, life continues without any change at all. Uh, it's the lambing season and they have been busy out and about in their fields. Um, because they have nobody else around them. So we just wanted to remind you that uh, the earth continues to flourish even though we as human beings are struggling so much um, with the situations that we find ourselves. I just wanted to share with you one very little practical tool for dealing with disagreement between individuals at home. Uh, I've noticed it because we have our grandchildren here and it seems to work um, well with uh, children but I realise that it works even better with adults. It's called restorative circles for those of you who have um, worked with that kind of practice before and just three simple steps to think about. The first is when uh, you are experiencing a disagreement or you are watching it between two other people within the home. Uh, identify a space, a safe space, in which people are willing to come and listen to one another. And that itself is a big step, I appreciate. Uh, it's a safe space in which someone is willing to be heard, first and foremost. The second step is to get the first person to say what it is they really want the other person to understand. And then the second person to be able to reflect back what it is they think person one wants them to know. So it's what you want the other person to understand and what the second person thinks you want them to know. And then you reverse roles so that each person in the uh, disagreement has an opportunity to really speak and also to be heard. The third uh, stage is to come up with ideas for where next. It's not about looking back and solving a problem. It's about looking forward and saying, what can we all live with? What would work for all of us? Uh, and trying to move forward in that creative way. So it's finding a safe space, it's being heard, speaking and being heard, asking those questions. What is it that you want the other person to understand? And then in return, what is it that you think the other person needs you to know? And then thirdly, coming up with a forward-looking plan of action that is about what can we live with, where can we go from here, um, that will work for all of us, even if it's not our first choice, but will work for all of us. We are holding all of you in our prayers. We know it's not easy when you're inside, particularly cooped up with people for long periods of time and moods are going up and down. Uh, but we hope and uh, pray for you each day and we'll continue to do so.